Hi, this is Beth Still, and today I'm going to share some tips and tricks for using a little feature in Google Maps called Pegman. And we are going to start this experience in San Antonio, which is one of my favorite places in the whole world. And you're going to notice when I go to pick up Pegman, you're going to see some blue lines on the map, which indicate areas where the Google Street View car has gone in gathered pictures, um, sometimes as far back as 2007. Um, the blue dots are going to indicate pictures that people just like you and I have taken and then uploaded. And those are pictures that are outside of buildings. And then the yellow dots um, indicate images that are taken inside of different buildings. So we are going to go ahead and we're going to take Pegman and we are going to go over here, kind of in the middle of the market district. And you can see we can scroll around here and look at the different corners. Uh, we could uh, kind of walk down the street here if we wanted to. But I wanted to show you a feature that's kind of not very obvious. It's this feature up here that lets us travel back in time. So if we were to click this, we could go back as far as 2007, and then every year or so, there is another picture taken. So if I wanted to go to 2014 and have a look at what this area looked like, I could do that. So this is really cool to do in areas where um, construction has taken place, or where you want to maybe demonstrate how the seasons change and what that looks like to students who might not be able to um, experience that in the regions where they live. But there's all kinds of different ways you can use um, this kind of way back machine, if you will. So um, one of the other features that I want to show you, we're going to travel a little bit further away from Texas to see. We are going to go to Tokyo. We're going to go to the Museum of Western Art. Now, I just happened to pick the Museum of Western Art. You could pick quite a few museums. I have not come across a list of them, but Google has partnered with dozens and dozens and dozens of museums from around the world, and they have brought in the same technology that they use to capture um, street view images. They've brought that into different museums. and. When I pick up Pegman and take, hover over the museum here, I'm going to go ahead and just drop into a gallery here. You can see that now I'm in a gallery. I can navigate around. I can walk down by clicking and, of course, navigate around me by looking at different places. And one of the things that when you use the ability to search museums in Google Maps, you can see a lot of the images and a lot of the pictures and sculptures have these little dots on them. And these little informational dots, when you click them, will give you more information about the image, um, like who painted it, um, some history behind it in some cases. Um, it's just a really, really cool tool when you're doing virtual tours of museums. And one of the things I found, uh, Pegman does work in Google Earth as well. But when you're in Google Earth, you don't see these dots light up. Those only work when you're in Google Maps. So um, I hope that you will find an interesting and engaging way to use Pegman in your classes.